This is Sweet 609, the Dallas South News Micro Show. I am Sean Williams here at Southside on Lamar in the historic Sears building in Dallas, Texas. Today, my guest is Mr. Larry Allens. He is the executive director of the Dallas Institute of Humanities and Culture. Larry, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so uh, Larry, I wanted to talk about the sixth annual MLK Symposium that's coming up. Uh, I had a chance to participate in last year's program, but I know you have an exciting lineup for this year, so talk a little bit about what you got coming up. Okay, uh, I, we have two keynote speakers this time, and we try to bring in somebody really notable uh, in, in the area that, that we uh, have a theme on. And this year, the theme of the program is just and unjust laws. Okay. Okay, and so the two guests we have are Mr. Fred Gray, who is uh, from Alabama, he lives in Tuskegee, Alabama, and he is an attorney, has been for 50 years. He had just gotten out of law school when he got a call from this woman named Rosa Parks. I heard of her. And yeah, I think <laughs> you probably have. And so he represented her when she refused to give up her seat to a white man on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. And he went from there, Mr. Fred Gray did, from defending her to becoming Martin Luther King Jr.'s first civil rights attorney, and he was all over the map in civil rights. I mean, it's just a rich history. So he's one of our mm -hmm. guests, okay? And then, um, now he just celebrated his 80th birthday uh, a couple of three weeks ago. And before you go to your second guest, because I know that you're a, a student of the history and you understand the civil rights movement, but I mean, to have uh, this particular speaker, uh, you know, the Montgomery bus boycott was one of the most significant, yeah. uh, I believe, the most significant um, yeah. event, turning point really in the civil rights structure, uh, struggle. But to have him here in Dallas is huge. It's huge. And you're right about that. And, and it's pretty much acknowledged by civil rights historians that the Montgomery bus boycott was the turning point. I mean, that's what uh, got the sort of the critical mass together and the whole country began to think about civil rights. And, and Fred Gray, you know, the thing about him is that he, he'll tell you, he said, I didn't, I didn't march from Selma to Montgomery. What I was doing was marching from the courthouse to the jailhouse, getting people uh, uh, out of jail or, or setting up their bail or arguing cases. But the, what he did behind the scenes is just amazing. But he's a great speaker too. He's gotten a lot of awards over the years for his oratory, you know, opening arguments, closing arguments, and he's argued before the Supreme Court uh, in a lot of cases. And the cases that he, you know, to go back to your point about how important that right. was, that whole period was, some of the cases that he filed from Alabama courts all the way up to the Supreme Court are still cited as precedents for law today. And so that was an enormously important uh, time for just everybody in the, in the country in terms of moving to a new era, right. past segregation. So you got Mr. Gray uh, as one of your featured speakers, right. and then yeah. you have another big guest as well. Yeah, he, he, and he's a lot younger. He was born in 1960. His name is Jeffrey Tubin, and he is uh, another attorney. Uh, he is the legal analyst for CNN News. He writes for The New Yorker. He writes for various other uh, publications. He has worked as a uh, legal analyst for ABC and written five books. So he's really, uh, 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 you know, in the next generation from Fred Gray. And you could say that he's benefited in all kinds of ways from the work that Fred Gray did. And uh, Jeffrey Tubin is a tremendous speaker. He's a great writer. He writes about legal things in a kind of a dramatic way, you know. So uh, to have both of those men on this program, I, I want to see what happens when the younger generation meets the older generation and they talk on stage, because part of what they're going to do is talk on stage about the history of civil rights in this country from Fred Gray's time in the mid-1950s uh, on to what Jeffrey Tubin is writing about and working on now. So we had a similar conversation last year. I was on stage with Michael Eric Dyson, yeah. kind of the younger generation, older generation. With this being the sixth symposium, how has the program itself matured? Where have you come from to get to where you are today? Well, first of all, I've learned a whole lot. I mean, it's been a great education for me just to, in the history of civil rights. 
We began in 2006 with a, a scholar, really, Claiborne Carson, he's a great man. He is still in charge of the MLK papers at Stanford University. And we had about 250 people come from below. Okay. And we, we've gone from there, we've had Juan Williams, uh, we've had Taylor Branch, who has written a three volume uh, definitive uh, history of the King years. And then we had, uh, we had Diane McWhorter, who knew King in Birmingham in 1963, which was such a tremendously pivotal year in the whole civil rights struggle. And, uh, and Wyatt T. Walker, who was one of the, uh, what they call the old lions of the movement. And it was a great privilege to have him here. And we then, after the program, you know, we watched with him the inauguration of President Obama. And it was, it was a truly uh, moving experience to watch that with him. And then last year, as you know, we had uh, Michael Eric Dyson, a tremendous personality, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a, a great spokesman. He, that was quite a performance that he gave last year. And, and with you and him on stage as the older and the younger, I thought that was great. So we, we've moved through a lot of territory and, and you know, uh, to, to sort of see exactly why that was such an important time for this country, you know. And,